It's that Dave Fry is a guy who can get the job done the right way when it comes down to running the offense. He doesn't really game play. Force up some layups, set some rebounds up for your teammates. Three-pointer for Safaya. Fry and Cole. Dave Fry is going to be more quick to pull that trigger from the three, especially off the dribble. Things cost him the game, but that was definitely one of them. Yeah, I mean, that's just, we always talk about it's just one of those plays where he makes the jump shot. People are like, oh, yeah, it's a stupid shot, but you made it, but you missed it. There's JLB comes up with it. Dave Fry. Finds a cutting dimes. Dave Fry at the elbow, heat indicator. And he's got eight points. For next year, looking into year two. Timely. Back to Cole. And Worthington Colt the third knocks the triple in. His final shot of the quarter. And Moody gets it to go, so a nice little run. He missed two shots, or 11 of 13. They come into this game losers of five in a row. Colt gets blocked by Dayfry. No look pass down to Moody. And he makes it a two-point game. It's Dallas Dimes. Gets it to Haza Green. Three turnovers when you're running this and only one turnover to one of the big men. That's perfect. I mean, usually if teams aren't playing a career. Dave Fry. The corner to seam. We're not going to play for a better standing. That doesn't matter at this point. Doesn't matter if you finish 16th, 17th. Belonging to the Warriors. Skips it over to seam. All right, it is now time for the Alien War Halftime Show. Good stuff there by Scott Cole and Dirk. You can see as the uh, Mavs gather up with Jonah, Daddy J there. Mavericks up. Mavs gaming 41-30, to 11-point lead. That is tied for the largest lead so far they've had in this ballgame. And it was tied at 6 early on before the Mavs went on a nice little run. You look at the Kings, no pressure, praying loose. Talk to, you know, Cole, uh, you know, Colton and all those guys and Moody. And Moody said, look, uh, we're just going to, you know, ride this thing out. We want to finish the weekend 3-0. and But so far, they are down. And you saw some of the stuff. If we look at the highlights here, powered by Alienware. You saw the coach Pablo talking to those guys like, slow it down. Get back to doing what you do. You saw Colt and uh, Cook and those guys, you know, talking back and forth. Clearly, they're having some issues communicating and playing the correct way. Same lineup. But unfortunately, so far, for the dudes from Sacktown, still some of the same and very similar issues. You look at the Mavs. Jonah told me, Larry, we need to do three things. We can't let bad plays affect us. Check. They've done a good job of that. Got down, were tied, and then went on a run. They're having some fun. Yes, they are. Where has this Mavs team been all season? They are locked in and no quit. They want 24 minutes of fight. So far, they have... Had a little fight in those guys for at least 12 minutes so far. And you look at Dimes and Dayfry doing their thing. As you take a look at those highlights, they're powered by Alien, where we'll take a look at also the box score. And there it is, Dayfry and Dimes combining for 24. Huge first half there for Dayfry. Back at the little guy playing the number one position. Usually he's down at the three or the four position, sometimes even the five. Dayfry with 16.7 assists, hit six of his seven shots. You look at the Mavs, they hit 11 of the first 13 shots, and I looked up and they were only up two. They went on a little run, outscored the Kings from that point on by nine, and they have 11 point cushion there as we head into the second half. All right, let's go downstairs to the Intel analyst desk. Dudes from Dalworth hanging on by 11. They have to win out or they are eliminated from the NBA 2K League play. Especially after the patch, when point guards start to really take over the scoring, it just makes everyone's life easier. Cook for three. Got it. Even two, when you look at this team, when they've been able to play close into games, a guy who stepped up and has been able to hit consistently from behind the arc was Colwell. Haza! In and out. JLB's right there. You're just counting on one person to really do all that homework because you guys are going to be locked into the ball and the adrenaline sets in. Seam could hit the mid-range jumper with JLB's right there. Back to Haza, quick trigger, and he got it. 11 points for Harry Hurst. They find Dimes, and what a block. I'm watching the Rising Stars game during the All-Star break. A lot of action, but not a lot of scoring. 
And there's a timeout by King's guard as the deficit is now 19. Day Fry. Got a block from behind. And up ahead to Safaya. Two hand jam. He's got eight. Help step up. Final 10 seconds. And Day Fry. He's got 26, leads all scores. We got Pacers and Warriors coming up next. Indiana trying to keep their streak going. We would need the rest of the team to almost lose out. It's just sort of that, that little bit of a log jam. He turned and looked at me, he says, like, you know, because you've watched me do this all before. It's just so many. Transition Mavs. Dimes, got to stop the ball. Nobody else wants to just sit up there and play. That's the one thing when he transitioned over towards it, right? They collectively came together and said, okay, who's going to play point guard? Time since that squad has had fun. Put somebody else up point guard, get the guys moving around. I mean, you don't want to have your last weekend here at the 2K League be like this, just getting blown out. That's no fun. Big win for Dallas, 85 58 over King's guard. Mavs still with a slim chance in the playoff picture. Appreciate it, Larry. Couple boys down here from Texas. What's the fishing like out in Palmer? Um, it's fun. Me and, my, me and my dad go fishing all the time. So, uh, like I said, I used to do that every weekend. So. I mean, when you got a game that's like a 30-point game, I know you had a big game, but what's there to talk about in, in, in this one except for uh, you guys could have used uh, – a few more wins there early in the season. Yeah, man, we just couldn't figure it out after the patch. Uh, I think we found it a little too late. But um, I don't know. Hopefully we can just finish out, get some help from other teams, and we can make the playoffs. Let's take a look at your highlights here presented by Intel, your performance of the game. And you were doing it all, man, especially in this point guard matchup. Anytime you're going up against Timely Cook, you know you're in for a tough game, but you actually made it look slight work. Yeah, Tom was a great defender. Dude. He drew that charge on me in the backcourt, and I was like, oh, man, it's going to be a long game. But like I said, I was just, they kept telling me to keep shooting, so I told you that. <laughs> yeah, it seemed like you uh, you guys did a great job, you know, helping out on defense when Cook tried to drive. They sort of left Tom on the island here, and a lot of times you made them pay on great picks like that one with JLB. Yeah, JLB, uh, that was a good – it was a good uh, transition for him to go to center. He's a great rebounder. Like I said, he has a lot of IQ for screens and stuff like that, so it was just good for us. What's it like? You, you prefer the center, or are you, are you like coming out to the PG every once in a while? Oh man, it don't matter. <laughs> well, I'll be on that green. Um, I don't know. I play when I play team up. I play point guard. So I mean, this is kind of like team up. And like I said, it don't really matter what I play. I play whatever. Gotcha. Thirty-one points, twelve assists, double double for the man. You guys still aren't mathematically eliminated from the playoffs. You're gonna need a ton of help though, and uh, you just got to take care of business this weekend. Yes, sir. We still got to beat the Bucks, man. That's the next uh, option. Just hopefully we get help from other teams. All right, they're going to need some help to, to get the rest of the way. We'll see if, the, if luck is in their fortune for Mavs GG. Back to you, Larry.